In the dark shadows of the music industry, a sinister force lurks, threatening to unleash chaos upon the world. Drake, embodying the essence of evil as the Antichrist Damien, hides a sinister secret, a daughter kept hidden from the world for over a decade. But Kendrick, a beacon of light and goodness, stands as the last hope against the impending darkness. As the battle between good and evil intensifies, Kendrick, in the role of Jesus, confronts Drake with divine fury, unleashing a torrent of holy verses aimed at exposing the darkness within him. Drake, consumed by his demonic nature, responds with vicious attacks on Kendrick's loved ones, spreading rumors and falsehoods to tarnish his divine image. But Kendrick, undeterred by Drake's malevolent onslaught, continues to wield the power of truth against his adversary. With each verse, he exposes Drake's deceit and manipulation, shining a light on the darkness that threatens to consume the music industry. As the battle rages on, the lines between good and evil blur, and the fate of humanity hangs in the balance. Can Kendrick, the chosen savior, prevail against the forces of darkness embodied by Drake, or will the world succumb to the horrors of Drake's deception and manipulation? In this epic struggle between angels and demons, truth and lies, only one will emerge victorious. As the final showdown approaches, the fate of the world hangs in the balance, and only time will tell who will emerge triumphant in this terrifying battle for the soul of the music industry. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. Let me just adjust my hand a little bit. I hope you guys are all doing good. You have to wake up every day and thank God. Just thank him that you exist, that your limbs are working, that you're breathing, that you're happy, that the heart is beating every day and that you, you, get, you get to go to the beach. Look at that. I don't know. I like hanging out at the beach. There's something so soothing about it. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about Kendrick Lamar's latest diss track, Not Like Us. The most disrespectful diss track of all time. I am a big fan of uh, Tupac Shakur. I thought that Hit'em Up was nasty. But I gotta give it to Kendrick. I gotta give it to him. This one is better than Tupac's. The reason why is just because it, it is, to date, the most disrespectful diss track. To date. The reason why is just because he called Drake the P word. He also said that a lot of people in Drake's crew right now are P words. <sighs> he called everyone in OVO, OV hoes. It's just a really, really bad look for Drake. Now, what can Drake do about this? You can't shake that off. You can't. Yesterday, I was thinking, you know, Drake is uh, very productive. What Drake can do is he can come out with a lot of songs, like flood the market, as he has been doing. But everything that Drake does right now, I don't know, it's feels like Kendrick is just mirroring him and using all Drake's tactics against him. So it's a tough one. Kendrick is more strategic. Kendrick sits in his room. He's way nerdier than Drake. He's just more obsessed. You can tell, like, when I was listening to the track, I could hear that he probably just sat yesterday and recorded this. And DJ Mustard, why, oh, why did you have to give him that hit? Why? <laughs> it's crazy. And as I was walking here, as I was bumping it, because it does slap, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what's so crazy about this? Is that I think people are gonna play this in the club. 
Drake right now he's dating Lotto's little sister. So I don't know, that one sticks. BBL Drizzy sticks, but this one is also gonna stick. Drake made a comment about freeing the slaves on his track. He said something about what you want to, I'm paraphrasing right now, but he said something in the lines of why do you want to free the slaves? And I thought that was very weird, referring to us as slaves. <laughs> why do you want to free the slaves? And that says something about Drake and the way he looks at himself. He's above us, right? And that is why I think that Drake is a culture vulture. I think he doesn't really understand hip hop, the essence of hip hop, because the Kendricks, the Kanye Wests, the 50 Cents, hip hop is all they have. And coming from and coming from slavery, being discriminated as we have been, when somebody comes and tries to take the only thing, the only thing that gives you freedom, no one is going to allow you to do that. No one is going to allow you to do that with hip hop. That's why I think that Drake is done. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be just a guy that doesn't really know what he's talking about. Just an internet guy, just like everybody else. It's just a theory, but uh, strategy-wise, Kendrick really pulled one on us. I thought that Kendrick was diabolical, but not like this. Drake, you just had to involve the guy's family. Your biggest mistake. Allegedly, Drake is hiding another kid, a daughter. We haven't got this confirmed. But then again, why does Kendrick have to lie about this? He probably has some information which we don't have, which we're not privy to. So, I'm a Larry Rock, I'm going to be a spectator, and I'm going to leave you with this. Never, ever involve somebody's family in your rap feud. But anyway guys, those are my thoughts. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.